What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's clip is going to be Resto Shaman Subtlety Rogue versus Survival Hunter Subtlety Rogue. And the reason I wanted to share this clip is because I'm actually starting to get some decent MMR on my new Alt Rogue. And this clip was actually against a couple rank 1 players, uh, Dylan and Swacked. And we do have comp advantage, so they are at a slight disadvantage. But if we mess up in the wrong way, we can very quickly lose the game. So I just thought I'd go over my thought process and what I'm trying to do and then afterwards I will replay the clip with the original recorded audio so you guys can see what's going on in full time or real time rather anyway let's get straight into the clip hope you guys enjoy okay so right before the gates open I already know that I'm going to be going on the hunter the only potential chance of me going on the rogue would be if I can get his trinket really quickly uh, through blind and then swap onto him with a full dance and cloak to avoid any incoming traps from the hunter but that doesn't end up happening here so my goal is going to be to rush down the hunter as quick as possible and at any given time I want to stop them both from being on a target through whatever uh, using evasion, just using crowd control or basically you just don't want them to connect to any one target at one time or that's a bad situation you don't want to be in that situation also you'll notice this game that I decided to go with death from above and the reason for that is only because I'm with the healer. If I was playing mage rogue or some other double dps comp I still would have went with mark for death to land that quick kidney shot on a for crowd control or whatever. But in this case I go with death from above so that I can potentially get the hunter's health down lower and delay their rogue from opening on me because inevitably he is going to try and peel me and either go for a quick burst on me or just go for like a cheap shot trap and get, uh, get onto my shaman very quickly. So right away my shaman gets a nice earth grab totem onto the hunter and reveals him out of stealth and I immediately go and open on to the hunter. Now that my shaman's in combat he doesn't have to worry about being sapped but as a result of this uh, the enemy rogue goes for a cheap shot to set his hunter up for a trap so that they can try and generate some pressure onto me. However you'll notice that my DFA and my opening rotation times pretty perfectly and I'm able to come down and still have that immunity from death from above and I land a blind onto the rogue because I notice that he has relentless and this is going to allow me to pressure the hunter down uh, quite low and it's going to eventually set up my um, or allow me to force aspect of the turtle and then once I've forced Aspect of the Turtle, my next goal is to simply wait for stun DRs and survive until the stun DRs are down, and then I'll be able to kill this hunter very easily. So now at this point, the hunter is just trying to kite away and survive until his rogue is out of crowd control, and then the rogue's going to quickly get on me and try and force my trinket, which he manages to do. And right here, I could have actually lost the game. However, I was in a good enough position where I was close enough to my Resto Shaman so that he could quickly run, uh, rush out and drop Spirit Link Totem to save me. And now the Hunter decides to use his Aspect of the Turtle. And this is a pretty key moment in the game because I forced his Aspect of the Turtle and he no longer has any defensive abilities other than his Trinket that he can use to get away from me. And I'm not too worried about his Trinket because I have shadow dance so I can put out several stuns to react to his trinket and so he just kites away a little bit more and I'm just waiting for the last couple seconds of this stun DR to come off and then I'm immediately going to put him into a cheap shot which he very quickly trinkets and uh, traps me and fortunately though I got off enough damage where he is able to be killed by my shaman my shaman just hits him with a flame shock and he goes down Basically, this was actually really close to us being in a very, very bad situation because I had used my trinket already and the rogue had just gotten back into stealth. However, the key moment that allowed us to survive long enough to win is when I put the kidney shot onto the rogue and then my shaman followed up with a hex. It was actually, I think, the incorrect decision to take Relentless. However, I'm not really sure. He might know something that I don't but taking Relentless against us in this situation allows me to have free reign over that rogue and control him enough and long enough to allow us to get a kill onto the hunter. Now here's the original clip again with the original recorded audio. I'm all nervous because I know it's going to be someone ridiculous. Yeah, who gives a shit? It's just a hunter and a rogue. True. 
they got the same fucking moves. <clears throat> The thing is, is we might know about them, but they don't know about us. They don't know about us. That's true. It is Dylan, actually. It is these shitters. That's funny. Told you. You find everybody. Oh my god. Rogue is nowhere to be found. Rogue stunned me. Just okay. I blinded. They're... Oh fuck! This is weird. I'm not gonna. Fuck. He got my trinket, I'm dead. Blink. Kenny on uh the rogue? He's hexed. I can win! Spell! Or, or just kill him. You can kill him. Yeah, you can kill him. You can kill him. Well, that's going to do it for this clip. Also, a lot of you have asked about my macros and which macros I use, and I would like to start working on that video tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll finish it tomorrow, but that video will be up very soon, so please stay tuned for that. As always, like, comment, subscribe for more, and thank you all for watching.